option clearly is for a more dovish Janet Yellen uh, to replace Ben Bernanke. Um, but you think this rallying stocks is, uh, may just be a one-day phenomenon? <laughs> Yeah, hi Jamie. I think it's going to be a bit of a short-lived one, really. We saw some gains being given back already in the morning. Although market's holding up reasonably well as we head into the middle of the session, I think the excitement over summer's departure from the race will probably ease back as we head towards the Fed meeting on Wednesday. Having said that, though, the rally it does look quite solid still. Um, Germany, for example, the DAX at a new all-time high. Well, there are still reasons, I think, to be optimistic. And we know the economic data has really improved over the last few weeks. So I don't think um, this move this morning is, is purely based just on that Larry Summers move. We also have some optimism coming back over the news that there's some agreement coming through on Syria. But the strength of the European economy is something I think we should take note of, really, at the moment. Signs that Europe is perhaps not as bad as we had previously thought. Indeed. And I think today UBS upped their forecast for Eurozone GDP. Um, so what are the levels we should be looking at next on the DAX if, if we're in uncharted waters? We are looking really at sort of 8,700 as the immediate near term for the DAX. I think the problem is that we had such a good strong move last week, up around 4.5% on the DAX, that it would not be surprising to see some sort of selling creeping in as the week goes on, especially with those German elections coming through later um, next week. OK, and the same, same question for the Eurostox 50, uh, if you want to use that as a benchmark for Europe. And the FTSE here in the UK, do you think there's going to be a bit of a pullback before we move higher? I think it's almost certainly the case, really. Those two other two indices didn't see quite the same gains that the DAX had, but really the nervousness ahead of the Fed meeting on Wednesday is the most important thing to watch out for, I think. And what are, what are the, the levels, once the Fed is out of the way, that we should be looking at on these two indices? Well, for, I think for the moment, the FTSE, we're looking at 6,700 really is the immediate um, level to watch out for. Um, we're just over that 6,600 level finally, but the weakness tends to creep in around here. For the Eurostox 50, 2,800 seems to be the one to watch out for at the moment, even as that pushes higher on increasing European optimism. OK, and just to finish up, one stock that's outperforming the broader market and, and its, uh, its peers today is fashion retailer H&M. They had a pretty decent sales report out today. Well, exactly. That's a 4% rise in like flex sales, and that's the strongest rise we've seen in 11 months and just ahead of expectations. So I think it really does sort of build into that European story of increasing economic growth and of confidence among consumers as well. We need to see whether this is just going to be a flash in the pan. But at the moment, it does look as if um, fashion retailers like H&M will do better in the near term.